Quack! Hello and welcome back to Parasite Eve. My name is Ben from Skinny Fat Duck and we have raided the pharmacy. Or rather, we, we're picking up the pieces that, is, that have been left over. And uh, we somehow... the So apparently... Okay, so the, the pharmacy got raided, but the gun shop didn't uh, because we had to actually break into that. Uh, but either way, we picked up a few new goodies... And we should be ready to go on to the next step. That is, if Daniel is satisfied with the amount of pillaging that we've done. Well, let's see what he has to say now. Or if I can actually get in this freaking car. Because we do need to go back to the station Still having issues getting in the car. Let's see what he has to say now. Hey, you're supposed to be up front with me. Yeah, well, you know what? I tried to I tried to get up there. Your dang car don't work. Rules road rules don't apply here anymore. We can take the shortest route through Manhattan. Okay. So hopefully we're going back to the station. Because we definitely got some housekeeping to do. All right. If you ever receive gun trading cards around, bring them here. I'm really into those. Trading cards fitting for a simpleton like you. Freaking geezer. Come on now, enough chatting. Back to work. Hey, aren't you in the middle of a case? Now go on, out of here and catch the idiots. Hopefully without using your gun. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. I don't think... Don't think I'm going to make any modifications yet. Just going to keep everything. Um, you know what? I wish it would it would let you preview from within that that piece. I guess the only way to see is this. Um God, this moving back and forth is so tedious. But what I want to see... Okay, so... The, really the only... Let me take a look at junk. It's actually really good for parts. Okay. But I don't know what that does for us. But oh, okay. So we can we can see the uh, the differences here. Well, crap. Maybe I should have kept that gun I got rid of. I'm actually thinking an extra shot on the M16 might be might be a good idea now. So let's go ahead. Go ahead and put all this crap back. Okay. So we can increase the rate of fire. Using that G19 or the M19. 
Let's... Times three will be moved and M19 will be lost. Yes. Okay, so now we have times three. Good deal. Can we do anything? Is there anything worth doing for the vest? There's a plus one. No, I'm going to wait on that. I don't think having one additional storage space is going to really make or break anything. So that should be good. I guess I'll go ahead and store a couple more of these medicines. And these tools. And this range extender. Don't need the zoo key. All right. That should be good. We have 14 spaces for new things, so hopefully... Hopefully that's enough space, is what I'm trying to get at. Alright, so with all that out of the way, we should be good to convene with the higher powers here and see what's what our next course of action is. And nobody's here. We probably need to go to the conference room. Nobody in the conference room. Oh, you know what? I'm a I'm a dodo. I don't think there's anything that we actually have to do in here. I just wanted to come by to unload a bunch of stuff. If I had to guess, since we're with the scientists, we may need to go back to the museum. Maybe. I don't know. Yep. Looks like it. So, where to? Is there any... Is there any place with a research facility? Research facility? I'd like to conduct an experiment and test something. It might be relevant. How about the facility in the museum where Clamp is at? They had a really extensive... They had really extensive equipment there. No way, man. Anywhere but there. He should have been evacuated by now. It should be okay. Uh, yes, that sounds good. Daniel, is that okay? I'm expecting a big tip for this. What are you, a taxi driver? This is the American Museum of Natural History. It's just as I imagined. I can find a research facility in this building. Yeah, hopefully we won't run into the jerk who runs it. Since he's been evacuated, it should be empty. Yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Hmm, for a lab and a museum, it does have fairly extensive equipment. What do you want to test? 
Yes, yes, of course. Let me see. I was able to extract a gel-like substance from Aya's clothing. Gel, is it from Eve? Yes, it appears to be a remnant of Eve's cells. At the cellular, cellular level, her power cannot be as strong as Aya said previously. Ow. Hey, what are you doing? Just want to conduct this experiment to see whether or not... Hmm, yes. This is exactly as I... Just as I thought. Go ahead and take a look. What is it? You can see all that in a little in a little microscope. That doesn't look good. Your cells are complete, completely surrounded by them. As you can see, the mitochondria, or Eve, has taken over the nucleus. In a similar manner, the beasts that attack you probably experience the same thing. Does the mitochondria really have the power to control the nucleus? No, the normal mitochondria never has such power, but Eve's mitochondria has gone through tremendous evolutionary changes. This is what I think happened to Eve's mitochondria. Normally, mitochondria require oxygen when they generate energy called ATP. So at this time, the mitochondria requests oxygen for the nucleus. Without, without the energy supply from the mitochondria, the nucleus cannot function. So in essence, the two organelles constantly rely on each other. But in this case, it seems that Eve developed the power to reverse this symbi symbiotic relationship. Evolution or even mutation seems likely in this case. Reverse the cycle. Look at this. Even with a limited number of cells, her cells have this much power. Can you imagine how much power Eve has within her whole body? Could you test my cells? Yes, of course, but I want to know. I want to know why I have the power to fight her. I want to know where I stand with her. Please, Maida. Ma Maida. I need to know why. Yes, of course. Could you step over here, please? I'll need your arm. Like this? Here. Yes, yes. Ow. Let me just set this up here. I think you'd better see for yourself. What is it? Is it something wrong? fighting it off. You realize what is happening? Your mitochondria are supplying more energy to the nuclei of your cells. It's almost as if they're protecting it from Eve's mitochondria. Why does Aes have this kind of power? I don't know. I just... Are you familiar with the Richard Dawkins theory of the selfish gene? In simple terms, it states that Genes act in a manner to preserve and ensure survival of the species. Hey man, I don't read those scientific journals. What are you trying to say? Depending on how you look at it, you can say that Eve is trying to destroy all mitochondria except her own. 
response to that, Aya's mitochondria has felt the power to rebel. Why only Aya's? Should it be the same for us as well? We should also have that power based on... It seems to follow the natural order of things, but I'm sorry, I don't know why. Professor? What are you doing in my lab? This is breaking and entering. Why haven't you evacuated the city yet? I'm asking why you people are in my lab. We're, we're just... We've received orders to evacuate this city. Professor, you really should... I tell you, cops are the ones corrupting this fine city. I'm sorry, it was my fault, you see. I asked them to bring me here. Who the heck are you? Oh, I'm Kunihiko Maeda, and I'm a scientist from Japan. You were using my electronic microscope. One second. I got to take care of something. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Sorry about that. What what is this? Where did you get this specimen? You, where did you get these cells? Those are I don't know. Do you take me for a fool? With cells like these, they must affect the body's natural state. Oh shut up, I'll just ask. Officer Bria. Your cells contain a tremendous amount of energy. Do you feel any bodily changes? You should feel somewhat hot, no? Speak up, officer. I can't hear you. Have you lost consciousness any time recently? Hey! What the heck is this? Why is my boy's name on here? Lorraine? Lorraine's on here too. Clamp, you tell me. You tell me what that list is for. Tell me, you hear. Let go of me. I don't have to tell you anything. What? Daniel, calm down. He was about to lay him out. Get out of here. Yeah, we'll be back with a warrant. You better believe it. Sorry to disturb you, but we do have to officially warn you of the evacuation. Please remember that. Officer Bria. Do you enjoy having that barbarian for a partner? Oh, uh, no, thank you, or bye. It's too late now. It's too late to do anything now. All right. Well, that was that. Now where do we go? Assuming back to the station. Dang him, one of these days. What was that list? It was an HLA type listing. It's a list to see whether organs will be rejected when transplanted. Why the heck are Ben and Lorraine on the list? It was a list of people with matching HLA types, so. Dang, I'm gonna get him. Going back to the station and getting the rocket launcher is what he should have said. What the heck happened here? Oh no. Eve? She's she's here? I'll go look around. You two stay here. Heck no, I'm not gonna sit around and wait for this thing to kill my family. Oh Daniel. Wait, Aya. Here, take this. What's this? It's a good luck charm from Japan. It's the best I can do. Thank you, I'll take it. Amaya. Special good luck charm. Wonder what it does. Either way, we're going to have to find out in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a like, consider subscribing, and we'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.